Hi, I'm Alex, two-time world memory champion. And I'm Kathy. We're both medical students and we're really interested in what makes a good memory. How to make something you want to learn really stick. So in memory competitions, I use a technique called the memory palace. And it's like using a space that you know well to remember information that you don't. And it works because humans have naturally really good spatial and visual memories. That's why you can think back to your childhood home and probably still remember the key features really well. Visualizing something as an image makes it way more memorable and interesting to your brain than say random names or numbers. And this is a technique that we both use when we're studying for medical school. Right, and it doesn't necessarily need to be something complicated like medicine. Let's say you're learning the first two items in your grocery list. You could imagine placing them around a space that you know well. So we know our dining room really well. And say I want to remember the first item on our list, which is eggs. I can mentally travel to this space and think about our bowl of clementines. And I can imagine, oh my gosh, a hen has laid a bunch of eggs in our clementines. And the next time I'm at the grocery store, I can mentally come back to this space and think, oh, the bowl of clementines, it was eggs. Right, let's say the second item is toothpaste. You can come next to this placemat mentally and imagine someone has squeezed out toothpaste all over this placemat, making it really, really sticky. And you could just continue down the line like that to, to memorize all the things you wanted to remember. And these visual and spatial connections really make those memories stick. And that is what makes a memory palace.